Hello, hello, Kristen here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new here, I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be doing moving forward with my channel. Pretty much once I'm done with my daily uploads. We have just about a month left. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, as far as um, actual wrestling videos goes, once we're done with the daily uploads, I will probably stick to once a week uh, uploading wrestling videos here and I will focus my shorter videos on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, I did actually create my TikTok account last year and I'm doing nothing different. It's just I'm posting my wrestling videos on all my social medias. Anyways, yes. So my TikTok is beautyxbeatdown and I encourage you to follow me over there because again my short form content will be over there. It's still gonna be makeup and wrestling though. Anyways, yes, so little update. I'm still sick with the COVIDs. Corvids, coronavirus, in this pancetta, whatever. Anyways, I have notes so that I can um, remember what to say. There will probably be a lot of editing because I'm still coughing. So, anyways, yes, let us get on with the show. Anyways, so I did decide, uh, kind of on a whim, but I decided that um, thanks to my friend Hot Mess Tom, I'm going to go on a three month no buy, not a six month. He did do a six month. I'm doing a three month because I think I feel I, I, I need to ease into that shit. Um, but anyways, so yes, I'm going to go on a three month no buy. The only exception is my BoxyCharm base box. I'm not getting rid of that. I did cancel my Ipsy. Uh, I did a little poll on my community tab and uh, he, most people said I should keep Boxy. So you know what? That's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see what happens. Yes, yeah, so my no buy will end April 1st, which is kind of funny because it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> All right. Uh, going along with that, I will keep track of new releases. I'll probably do like a purchase or pass. I don't really want to call it an anti haul because, I mean, you know, thoughts change. I might want to really buy something at the end of the three months, like I did with the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. Not gonna lie, I had that on my anti haul. And then I bought the palette, like I said in my previous video, because I found out it was magnetic. So, anyways, uh, I don't get any PR, so there won't be anything new during this time unless it comes in my boxy charm, and I will not be buying off the boxy pop up uh, either. So, it's either given to me as a gift, uh, if I somehow get a gift card from someone, or it comes in just my regular box charm. Uh, like Hot Must Tom, I do want to focus on the stuff I have. And I do have, I do have a lot of stuff and I want to, uh, you know, start working through what I have, seeing what I love and if I don't love it, get rid of it. You know what I mean? Uh, going forward as well, I only want to, uh, when I do make new purchases eventually, uh, I only want to purchase from vegan and cruelty free brands. That's not something I focused on in the past, but I do want to focus on that now. Now I will not be getting rid of any products I currently own because that would be ridiculous. Um, but yeah, if I purchase anything in the future, it's definitely going to come from vegan and cruelty-free brands. Now, of course, there really are no real certifications for that, so you just got to do your own judgment. Um, I did see in the past, I don't know if it's a current thing, but I did see in the past, some months ago, uh, another YouTuber, um, but she did say that uh, Glam Light, while they, are, they say they're vegan and cruelty-free, they did have actual mink eyelashes for sale on their website, and I was like, huh, I had no idea. But uh, again, I don't know if that's the case now. Anyways, so just something to think about. But yeah, you know, you might have Little Leaping Bunny or some sort of vegan certification, but it might not actually be real. So you got to do your own, <laughs> you do your own digging for information. All right. So after my three month no buy, if I want to purchase some things, I'm going to give myself a $50 allowance per month. Uh, I will allow it to roll over if I don't, if I don't spend it. Um, if I do spend it, $50. That's it. No more. And that $50 is going to come out of my tip money for work. So there's that as well. Uh, something that my friend Fatally Flawed Ash does here on YouTube. They do three looks, one palette type videos. Uh, after my, my yearly daily uploads is over, I'm going to be going down to three days a week, I believe. Right now I'm just thinking it's going to be Monday. Wednesday and Saturday, maybe something like that, but three days a week. Anyways, going three days a week will definitely allow me to do these three looks, one palette videos. Again, Fatally Flood Ash is an inspiration for that. Uh, something I also want to do is I have a fuck ton of Bath and Body Works stuff, and I haven't even bought any. Well, I think I bought some last year, technically. 
Uh, but I have a lot of Bath and Body Works stuff, so I want to go through that stuff. I want to use it. Uh, if it's old, I want to get rid of it. Uh, not so much the soaps. Soap's fine, but I have a lot of soap too. And as far as panning goes, Project Pans, I tried that last year. I didn't really like it in the way I tried it because I felt like I was neglecting everything else. So I'm probably going to figure out a way to do that, but for right now, I just want to try to rotate through all my products. Again, like my friend Hot Mess Tom did with his uh, makeup collection, so I'm probably going to do a form of that. But I did, I did figure that I want to pan at least one thing this year. I'm going to pan, I'm, uh, excuse me, I'm going to choose exactly one single eyeshadow. I don't know which one yet out of all my eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to choose one eyeshadow to pan and that's going to be like my my introduction to actually panning and not just seeing a little bit of pan i want to use that whatever that eyeshadow is i want to use it up totally by the end of the year i figured i can do that like i'll, I'll probably choose like a black or a purple something like that something i can incorporate into a lot of uh, other looks you dig you dig <laughs> something else i guess it's kind of like resolutions i don't know makeup res resolutions Anyways, uh, I definitely want to clean my brushes more often. I haven't done it in a long time, and I know if, if you've been here a while, you know, I, I, I've said that here or there. I've literally, like, almost never cleaned my brushes, except for when I use the color switch, but it's not really the same. So, yeah, I want to try to do that once a month. I think that's, that's pretty good. Uh, another thing I want to do, continue to organize my collection. My room is a mess. Since I won't be bringing new stuff in for at least three months, I should be able to organize this bitch. Uh, another thing I need to do is to continue to keep up with my skincare. It's actually been a little easy these last few days since Monday. At least, yeah, since technically Monday. That's when I've been in quarantine. Uh, yeah, I've been pretty good at it. Not the best, but I've been showering every day. We've been like cleaning a lot of our clothing. But yeah, I want to organize this room. I want to you know, make better use of... Th this is a huge um, like Ikea shelves and... I have a lot of makeup on it, but I don't. <laughs> like, I want to get most of it in here. There's there's a lot of cubby holes where I have, like, um, toys. Like, I have my belts, but, like, whatever. This is kind of, like, my little staging area for, for my camera. But, like, the rest of it, I really need. I really need to clean that up. Uh, another thing non-makeup related is I want to read at least one book a month. Now, last year, last year I had actually planned on reading uh, a book. I did say a book a week. I do have a lot of books and I read fast, but I think I'm going to focus on one book a month, so if I read faster than that, hey, I can say I read at least 12 books a month. Uh, also, exercise. I'm going to be 40. I'm going to be 40. I have a really expensive machine over there that we're not using right now, uh, so I want to eat better. Exercise, of course, is kind of hard right now because we can't even go out and get food. We have to order food for delivery. Thank goodness we live in an area where we have DoorDash and Grubhub and um, Instacart, stuff like that, because yeah, we're still stuck at home. I'm going to see a doctor tomorrow, so COVID update. Uh, I'm going to see a doctor tomorrow. I'm going to take a rapid test. Hopefully I'm negative, but I still have I still have coughing. It's um, kind of productive now, whereas before it was really dry, but um, it was really hard getting to sleep last night because I coughed so much. I'm still coughing during the night and waking myself up. Um, I had a really bad coughing fit earlier. Uh, fatigued. I cooked dinner last night and like I was good while I was doing it and then bam I just had to go lay down in bed and watch TV because like I couldn't do anything. Uh, and my work thinks that I can return on Monday. Maybe if I had like a normal nine to five job. So anyways cross your fingers for me that I do get better soon. Anyways, yes, thank you so much for watching. I do have another project in the works, and uh, I will probably post about that tomorrow. But for right now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give the surprise away. No one else knows about it right now. But um, yes, thank you so much for watching. If you have any no buy tips and tricks you wanna uh, add in the comments down below, I would love to read them. Uh, if you have any ways to project pan that are great for introductions or new people, uh, put them down below too because I tell you, my potion project pan last year didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out at all. Yes, a wrestler. I was gonna say a wrestler. Yeah, a wrestler. Another YouTuber named Oriel, uh, previously in her channel's history, did this thing where she made like little bento boxes but for makeup. So she did like daily makeup baskets and I thought that was like a great idea. So I might do that tomorrow actually. Um, if I'm gonna be home longer, 
Uh, yeah, if I'm gonna be home longer, so that that way I do my makeup every day at least while I'm home here, so I have something to do. Um, I I thought it was a great idea. It's not what she's doing now apparently. She's actually doing project panning, but anyways, what else? It's neither here nor there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, daily uploader until February fifth. We only have one month left, y'all. If you stuck with me this far, continue to stick with me. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.